Welcome back. You're still on Life and Style. This is Inspiration Thursday and we are happy to be bringing you books and blogs. Today finds us here in Westlands at Donuts World and as you can see we are relishing some donuts with my guest and later on we'll be featuring this place on Restaurant of the Week. For now let's get to meet this young blogger. His name is Eric Vateta. Yes. Karibu sana. Asante. And you have a camera. You yes. need to drop a picture right now, even before this interview starts. You need to just take a <laughs> photo for me to believe that you need a photographer. <laughs> yes, so this, this is my pen. It's your pen? And my book. Oh, I love that. Your pen and your book. Yes, How so does that work? I tell my stories using pictures. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's say, tell, say this story right here. This is the story <laughs> you should be telling. <laughs> Uh huh. Have you taken anything, Eric? You yeah. mean you have? Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you send that to me. That will be my latest profile picture, okay? On social media. But anyway, thank you so much for coming to Books and Blogs. Uh, Santa, Santa. Tell me about your blog, even as you have your donut. What are you having? It's called. I've forgotten the name. <laughs> These things are so many over here, yeah? Like, yes, you get yeah. so confused. Yeah. But I think it has fruit. Yes. Okay, and black coffee. So you're a black coffee kind of guy. Yes. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so tell me about your blog. Name of your blog. So my blog is called Kenyan Story. KenyanStory.com. Mm -hmm. So it's a lifestyle blog. We are trying to tell the Kenyan stories, uh, the Kenyan livelihood, uh, how Kenyans live their life, their architecture, mm -hmm. their, our cultures, mm -hmm. Kenyans. So we want to take our stories abroad. The wow. same way a story yes. in America trends in Kenya. Right. We want our stories to trend in Brazil, America, New York, and all. Wow. Yeah. That's just a using, powerful vision. Yeah, just using online platforms. Yes. Yeah. So you tell our stories for the people outside Kenya to get to know how we live, how we think, etc. Wow. When did you start this blog? Uh, I started writing in 2013. Mm -hmm. Then I launched it officially last year, mm -hmm. 2016, around August. Okay. Yes. Okay. What? Okay. You say writing 2013, then you launched. So what does that mean? Like, were you not writing in your blog? Uh, I used to write on my blog, but it was not that official. I, I, I used to write poetry, uh, short stories, but they were my thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was. Uh, I can say it was <laughs> subjective. Some of them are not that good mm -hmm. to be to be exposed mm -hmm. out there. So, uh, but I used to write for other bloggers. Okay. Uh, I started oh. writing for Kachuanya. Mm -hmm. So Kachuanya trained me on his blog, mm -hmm. Kachuanya.com. Uh, he trained me how to to be analytic, mm -hmm. how to to review tech, how to review maybe startup yes. business uh, yeah. stories and all that. Okay. So I learned a lot from him. Then from there I said, no, I should start my own thing. Yeah, and maybe do the Kenyan stories. Yes. So I figured, uh, so we are not telling more of Kenyan stories. Yes. We are telling more of outside stories, like in the tech field and all that, and our cultural values, mm -hmm. they're not being told. Like um, in May, we have uh, Trukana, a festival. Yes, the yeah, Trukana the, festival, yeah, yes. Yeah. But uh, you'll find that few uh, media houses and few mainstream platforms and bloggers will cover that event. Wow. But we'll find somebody from CNN or BBC or Al Jazeera yes. equipped there with their gadgets, yeah, cameras. They heavy yeah, those they things, go yeah. heavy on, on, yeah. on those things. But Kenyans, we are not sharing our stories. Yeah, so I figured, let me tell the Kenyan story. Mm. So I came up with the name, the yes. Kenyan story. Wow. Yeah, I so love that. such festivals and cultures yes. is, is what we use. So I use my camera to yes. take the pictures. Oh and get a few stories from the people which I'll use to publish on, the, on my I blog. I love that. I want to see you eating your fruit something. <laughs> I, I don't want to spoil my makeup. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now you admit you have makeup. Before you're like, no, 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 I don't want makeup, I don't want makeup. <laughs> you know, the camera has to get me good side. You want <laughs> Yeah, if, even if I'm a, I'm a guy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so you will spoil it if you have the, your fruit pie something. Okay, I hear you loud and clear. Okay, so. KenyanStory.com, uh, uh, you launched it, um, when did you say, last year? Yes, in August. Yes. yes. So how have you um, seen the growth since now you fully launched it? What has that been like? 
Uh, I brought in two writers. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I brought in two writers. Well, one, she's doing uh, fashion. Uh -huh. uh, she covers uh, fashion stories in Kenya. She approaches different uh, uh, designers yes. who are coming up. Yeah. So Kenyan they have. Designers. Yeah, Kenyan designers. Mm -hmm. They have like SMEs. They come up with uh, designs for Kenyans and Kara. Like this, this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is one of the. A designer, mm -hmm. they are called Sparks Clothing. So we approach, we approach them, then uh, we cover their stories. They, they tell us their their way, mm -hmm. uh, how how they started and where they are and their vision, mm -hmm. and how they they tend to come up with like a Kenyan look, yes. something for Kenyans and all that. Yeah. So that's a, a fashion writer. That's our for a fashion writer. And the other one, what does he or she write about? Then we have another one. She she does uh, basically SMEs, startups. We have uh, startups that are coming up, technology, business solutions, and sort of. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So they have this. Um, so she approaches uh, different startups or people who have startups. Mm -hmm. So she reviews them. And uh, she kind of tells the bad side of that startup and the good side of that startup. So uh, the startup owner kind of knows like uh, if the startup is going to help Kenyans or not. So you get like a whole picture mm. from a story, so mm. a whole review, opinion, yeah. and maybe what other people are saying yeah. about it. Yeah. And you also won an award. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I was nominated. You were nominated. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I was. Um, I was nominated for best blog, best Kenyan blog of the year. Wow. And the best lifestyle blog. Wow. Uh, That's a big deal. In Kenyan blog, mm -hmm. uh, Kenya Blog Association. Yeah, the Big Awards. Yeah, the mm. Big Awards, mm. uh, and it's coming up in May. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I want to tell people to vote for my I blog. Look at that camera and tell them. Oh yeah, now. Uh, so my blog is called Kenyan Story, KenyanStory.com. Uh, do this, go to Google, type kenyanstory.com, login. Is it called login? Or yeah, it's just login. Click, just click in Giyapo, go. In Giyapo, okay, in yeah, uh, in Giyapo, <laughs> then you'll see a banner somewhere written Bloggers Awards. Click that banner, then go down. Don't, don't even vote for other things. There are too many. Just go down up to lifestyle, Kenyan lifestyle blogs, then click on Kenyan Story. Uh, click, go to Bloggers Awards, Kenya Bloggers Awards, then go to kenyanstory.com. Yeah, just look for kenyanstory.com uh -huh. yeah, and vote, vote for it. Okay, so let me see if I understand so I can help you. You go to Google. Yes. You look for Kenya Bloggers Awards. Yes. Right? Yes. When you get to their site, I look for kenyanstory.com. Yes. And I click that. Yes. That means when I click, it means I have uh, voted for you. Yes. You sure? No, you have to submit. You submit your name and all that. Then of course, Safaricom my details, will, yeah, and then? Yeah. Then Safaricom will do its it thing uh -huh. so that you don't repeat what's uh -huh. name. So you can only vote once? Yeah, you can only vote once. Oh my gosh, they're really tight, yeah? yeah? This is really bad. I, I wish you could vote more than once. Yeah, because then you just buy airtime for 5K and just keep voting. Uh, yeah, actually I did that. Uh -huh. Then I, I realized later I can't vote. <laughs> <laughs> so you're left with a lot of airtime. Mm. <laughs> okay, pretty cool. So you're a blogger. Um, and I also know that you have some interest in law. Tell me about that. Uh, I studied law. Uh, I did my bachelor's in law. Any you dude, you're a lawyer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I'm a lawyer by, by profession. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I decided to follow my passion. Yeah, so I studied law. That is, I, I gained knowledge in law. Yes. But then, do I really need to, like, career-wise, do I really need to be an advocate? Uh -huh. Then I figured I can wake up in the morning at 3 a.m. and write a story or edit a picture or edit a short video. But I can't wake up at 3 a.m. and go through a case. <laughs> I think most of them do, by the way. Like, if they have these really tough cases, Yeah, yeah. I, I read lawyers yeah. just don't even sleep. Yeah, but I couldn't do that. Okay. But I could wake up in the morning and write a story. Then I figured, so this is my passion. This is something I can actually do mm. for a long period of time. Yeah. Then I decided, uh, let, let me start a blog yeah. and buy a camera and take pictures. Wow. Yeah, then it's... So yeah. how did your parents react to the whole, you've done law and then now you've echoed that candle? 
umeshika camera and you're writing stories. What do you mean you're writing stories? Uh, first of all, my mother doesn't know what I'm doing in Nairobi. Uh, Child, she will watch this show. <laughs> she will watch it and she will know. And that will be the end of you. Yeah, I, I, I told her I'm working on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, I tried to tell her what a blog is, but she couldn't like okay, get the old picture. So uh -huh. I decided to tell her I work on Facebook and Twitter. But she's still trying to understand the whole concept. Yeah, like what are you doing there? So you post stuff on fe on on Facebook, then Facebook pays you or Twitter pays mm. you. What? How, what? How? Yeah. yeah. What exactly are you doing? Mm -hmm. Then I, later later on I told her that I bought a camera. I'm taking pictures. So she told me like you wait until Christmas to go to people's homes and take pictures or <laughs> what? You take pictures over Christmas. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then after some time, then I surprised her. Uh, I enrolled at Daystar, okay. doing a master's in uh, in arts of communication. Yeah. Then she was, she went all crazy. No, you you started with law. Now you're going to learn how to talk. How do you learn how to talk in a school? So how will you? How exactly are you going to earn from <laughs> yes, yes. from just communicating? Yes. Yeah. So that's how it it goes. But wow. she's really supportive. She is. She's really supportive. Even when she didn't get you, she's yeah, like, she you know what? Yeah. Let me just support this boy. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. She's really okay. Yeah. Nice. That's pretty cool. And you're also a poet. Yes. yes. Hey, do your many things. <laughs> <laughs> a, a friend of mine calls me multimedia. <laughs> Okay, so if you're a poet, it means um, you can give us a poem, like you can spoken word, spoken art. Can I hear something? <laughs> I know I've put you on the spot. Wow, well, now that, 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 that's an ambush. Uh, <laughs> anything, anything. Yeah, so everything is easy, but favors a prepared mind. Tell them to the camera. I want you to look at the. No, I thought I was telling you. <laughs> mm hmm. Spoken word, unleash your gift. So everything is easy but favors a prepared mind. So you are starting off as a designer, you are starting off as a photographer, you are starting off as a writer, you are starting off as a graphic designer. But are you really sure the world wants your art? Are you putting on the effort that really can come up with an artistic something, let's say a masterpiece, a piece that can actually cut through the world and make people wow to our artwork. So everything is easy but favors a prepared mind. You have to sit down and draw a structure, come up with a framework, and come up with an artistic design, something that will take your artwork somewhere in this world. What you need to do is sit down, study, research. Then you'll come up with something, an ideal space for you, an ideal artwork for you, an ideal design. So everything is easy, but with us a prepared mind. All you need to do is sit down and research. I think that's enough. Huh? I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. You're giving us wisdom. What freestyle. Yeah. Freestyle. <laughs> it was freestyle. Yeah, that was it. No. Freestyle. Are you for real? Yeah. It just came. Yeah, it just came. Hey, you're good. You're yeah, good. Yeah, I, I wish. I wish I knew I was going to do a spoken one. There's surprises, we just unleash them like yeah, that. Yeah, I will have written something for the books and blogs. You will still write, uh -huh. you will send it. When the shoes are there, we will put it there. Ah, that, that is doable. Yeah. You put some, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you will send it to Michael? Yes. Okay. And Perfect. the photos. You know who Michael is? Uh, <laughs> okay. The so, dude I talked to on Yeah, the, the dude you talked to on the phone. Ah. He's called a producer, that's his official title. So they. He's going to pay for this, huh? <laughs> now I'm saying, I can eat. Let's start yeah, eating. You know, exactly. <laughs> you are so funny. Okay, so for any aspiring um, bloggers watching as we wind up, uh, what I know you've already told them, you know, anything is possible, whatever, but what would you, how would you encourage them to start? Aspiring bloggers. So you started somewhere, you had someone who mentored you, taught you, etc. Do you do the same, by the way? Yes. You can do uh, the same for us. Yes, my two, my two writers, uh, one, uh, she's called, we have Yvonne Asiko mm -hmm. and Esther Oranga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually train them how to nice. develop a good story. Nice. Maybe editorial work. Uh, I, I didn't study, I'm, I'm, I'm studying journalism, but I'm still getting the grip of it, but they don't have. Uh, mm. One, uh, 
Yvonne, she did political science. Wow. Then <laughs> you guy. Esther, she's doing urban planning. So <laughs> they are not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so writing is something that it yes, just came on. So, yeah, so I'm trying to train them how to develop a good story. Not just sensational like other bloggers are doing, but something catchy that yes. can actually, something informative yeah. that can actually educate somebody. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to train them yes. the best way to come that up you, with a good okay. story. Okay. And if people wanted to like look for you and maybe they want you to train them in photography or even how to write their own blogs. How can they get in touch with you? What's your number? Number, okay. <laughs> My number is 0715-149-053. You can also get me on Twitter, Kenyan Story underscore. No, 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 scratch, scratch that. Scratch that. Yeah, scratch uh -huh. that. <laughs> Kenyan underscore. Where did they come with the underscore You're thing? asking me, you just know. <laughs> so Kenyan <laughs> underscore story. Even on Instagram, Kenyan story. On Facebook, Kenyan story. Just DM, I'll reply. Just DM. Yeah, DM, <laughs> I'll reply. <Yes> <laughs> what if you get questions like whether you're dating or married? How will you answer that? Oh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll answer you that. Yeah. No, maybe you start now. I, I'm not dating, but I'm searching. I'm out there. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> You're searching. Yeah. Good luck with your search. Thank I you. wish you all the best. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So do you think you will want to look at my blog and fix it? Yes, I can. Yeah. You can? Yes. For real? Yes. Uh-huh. What will you do to it? First of all, I'll review the blog. Uh-huh. Uh, the techy part. Mm -hmm. The design, the layout and all that. The so you're good at those things? Yeah, I'm also a designer, a graphic designer. <laughs> you you're, now you're multimedia. I agree. Yeah, friend of mine. <laughs> I agree, and you're a photographer. Yes. So I'll give you my blog name. Yes. And you're going to look at it and tell me what can be done to make it look good. Okay? Yes, I can do that. Yeah. You live up to that challenge. You yes. see, you're doing this on TV, yeah? so you, a lot of people hold you accountable. Did Eric check out your blog? <laughs> <laughs> so, witnesses, if I don't do the work, Please don't like uh, defame my blog. <laughs> I'll sue you. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, how long will it take you to do that work? Uh, two days. Two? Dude, you know what I want to do now? <laughs> Let me open for you my blog. Before okay. you say two days, it could take you two weeks. Oh, okay, okay. I'll open for my blog. You just, sha. Then you like, you know what? Your blog needs da 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 da, and I'll take two days to do it. Mm, because yeah. the next time I have you on this show, Yes. I'm going to be bragging how you made my blog look good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Is that deal? We need I'm to looking shake forward to, yeah. We need to shake on it. Yeah, I wish somebody was taking a picture like <laughs> the... <laughs> no, give the camera to Spencer, one of our producers. He'll take the picture. Uh -huh. just, just show him how... Spencer, come. Be shown how to do the picture. Come, come, come. <laughs> we need to take a picture as we are, you know, shaking hands. This is Spencer. For all of you who do not know some of our producers, there you go. <laughs> no, I, I saw him uh, behind the camera, so he probably knows wha no, what to do. No, don't, don't, don't even, just don't take that for granted. No, teach him. Mm. Let me brag about this camera first. <laughs> Let's do your work. Uh, <laughs> let me try. You press here. <laughs> so you want we are shaking hands. So first, you look at this blog. So that's my blog, all right? Mm -hmm. It has no one single picture. Uh -huh, my you see? My heart, yes, it's yes. called when my heart sees .blogspot.co.ke. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's melodies on my heart. Mm -hmm. So I need that blog to look modern, urban, trendy, and all of those things. First of all, the color is too much. I love that color. What do you mean? It's luminous green or something. No, it's too much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the first thing, when I log into this blog, uh -huh. I'll not see the content. I'll see the colors and, this, uh, and the leaves. And that's, I love the leaves and the color. No, uh, when you when you open a blog, so what's the first color you see? Green, white. No, any other blog. White, mostly. Most of white, them are white. White and black. Yes. Right. Yeah. So even books, mm -hmm. it's white and black. Right. So when you put colors, I'll not concentrate on the words. I'll concentrate on the words, uh, on the color and the leaves and so all. So what that. color do you think it should be? And don't tell me black and white. That's too plain for me. Black and white. <sighs> it's too plain. I, I, I like color. Ah. Uh, 
so to add maybe some juicy things uh -huh. on it, uh, you put pictures. So you will take pictures, uh -huh. a good photo. <laughs> so the photo will go in hand with the story. Yes. So it actually makes the story interesting. Okay. So a person will read the story mm -hmm. and maybe confirm on the photo. Okay. Yeah. So when you put too many colors, uh -huh. it confuses the reader. Okay. So, so that will take you. Do you see how many articles I have there? Oh. Uh, okay, you're not writing stuff. Dude, give me a break. No, you must. A bit, but I... No, you. <laughs> Look. It's all these are articles, all this on your left, all this. So they are inspirational. Well, so you'll go through it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so you how... need you need a domain. You know, blogspot. You know, people are past <laughs> that. You know, if, if if I go to your blog, then I see blogspot. So you like There's free no things. <laughs> you need no, to buy. <laughs> I have I have a domain, CatherineMwangi.com. Okay, I okay. have, yeah. Ah. So, so how many days will you take? You see, I'm putting you up to the test. No, you'll have to pay for it. Oh, please. That's <laughs> never a problem. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay I'm, I'm drinking coffee, Joe. I, I, I don't know how to... <laughs> to eat this. You won't wait after the show is over. Then yes. you chew. <laughs> I totally understand. So I've put you up to that challenge. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you, what you do with it. Okay. Yeah. So your advice to bloggers, should they continue writing? Anybody watching? Yeah. Um, the first step is to write something. Uh, we have mini blogs. Uh, you can actually write mini mini blogs on Twitter. It's, it's called mini. Micro blogging. Yeah. Micro blogging. Oh, yeah, okay. Mini. Okay. Micro blogging. So you can just start by writing on. You know, Twitter is a website. Mm -hmm. It's a blog. Yes. Even Facebook, it's a blog. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So you can start from there. Yes. <laughs> write, write, write your stuff from there. Get comments. Yes. Get ideas. Yes. Get corrections. I remember my first story. It had many grammar mistakes. Wow. Then I, uh, I was writing for Kachwana, and Kachwana, he, he has this massive following. So, it was a tech review. So after writing that story, I got many corrections, people told me to go back to nursery, people told me <laughs> <'Cause nasty. laughs> to buy a book. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, so the first thing is write, it, write, write your story, yes. write something down, yeah. get the comments, get, get, get the reviews, get the bad ones, the good ones, then from there you develop a niche. Mm. The best thing is a niche. When you get that niche, that's when you start a blog. I see. Just Google WordPress. Yes. You get the free blogs. Continue writing a story. But okay. the first thing is research. Research. Yeah. Yes. What I said in the in the yes. In this book, you know, yes. Research. Yes. Because when you research, uh, you actually get you gain knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, everything is easy. Yeah. But favors a prepared mind. If you're not prepared, then you're doomed. Yeah. <laughs> You'll just be getting negative reviews yeah, all the time. Yeah, but take your time, research, and write. Yes. Well, I love it. Yeah. And I thank you for being on the show. Thank you. It's been fresh. <laughs> it's been very fresh. I've, yeah. had, I've had a good time having you. Okay. So you can be eating your fruit because now we've wound up. We've wound up, ah. we've wound up, wound up whatever. <laughs> uh, so you can have your fruit. Okay, that's Eric Bateta, young blogger in Kenya. He, uh, he's up for an award. You need to vote for him. Go to the Bake website and find uh, kenyanstory.com and from there just follow the process and let us get this man to win the best blog of the year. For now we take a short break. When we come back we showcase Donuts World. Don't go away. <laughs>